Good evening, Brazos Valley. Had some light scattered rain throughout the afternoon and evening, and that is still the case for tonight. You can see most of those showers just passing to the west of College Station. Really not seeing a whole lot of activity starting to fizzle out, but we can't rule out a shower overnight, or nothing looks to be really too strong or severe. We do have that flash flood watch in place for the counties in Green, Lee, Milam, Robertson, and Leon. Other counties may be added soon as we are going to be having no chance of those strong thunderstorms moving through the area. Now, we will update you as the National Weather Service issues those warnings. Now as we can take a look here, what we have been watching and tracking is out in western Texas. You can see that line of thunderstorms really start to develop. You can see the green and then you see the red and the orange colors. That's where more of that rainfall and strong to severe storms is possible. So we're tracking those storms as they're going to be moving to the Brazos Valley overnight and then throughout your Sunday. So Sunday morning just be seeing those scattered showers possible and that cloud cover throughout the day. Here's about Sunday night around dinner time. We're seeing 6 p.m. Start to see some of those stronger storms move into the area, those colors of the yellow orange and red start to see more of that rainfall and stronger system that will last sunday night to monday morning monday morning commute probably going to be wet wanting to give yourself an extra couple extra minutes in the morning and take the umbrella with you during the day monday those showers stick around but we do see a little bit of a break into monday afternoon and monday night Tuesday morning, we see that next round of showers come through the Brazos Valley, sticking around throughout Tuesday afternoon, and they will actually be sticking around throughout the rest of the week. As far as accumulation totals go, we could be seeing quite a bit of rainfall after this system moves through the whole week. Seen by Sunday morning, not really a whole lot, any rainfall as from tonight to tomorrow morning, but throughout the day Sunday, we will be seeing quite a bit of a difference as we make our way to Sunday night. Check out those rainfall totals. We could be seeing quite a difference from about one inch to even up to about five to six inches possible by Sunday night. From Sunday night to Monday morning when the other bulk of the system moves through, you can see an upwards of six to seven inches possible. To make our way throughout Monday during the day, you can see the colors where the the blues, the purples, even the whites, that's where more of that rainfall is going to be. So we're seeing about seven to even eight inches total. And so those rain and storm chances Primarily just seeing Sunday night into Monday, and Monday that could be our most severe possibility right now. Strong and severe storms. Then as we move into Tuesday, Tuesday night and Wednesday, so we had a 40% chance of those storms. As we head into the mid, into the rest of your work week, seeing about a 30% chance of those storms. So the main concerns with as these showers move through, we'll be seeing those flooding high chance. That's why we have that flash flood watch in place. Could all be seeing some damaging winds move through with these storms, and hail is also always a possibility. For your temperatures tonight, be pretty much above normal by about 10 degrees seeing 68 for Bryan College Station tonight into the upper 60s low 70s mostly cloudy skies and those winds about 10 to 20 miles per hour those wind speeds and cloudy skies are going to be sticking around throughout your Sunday and those rain chances will be on the increase so saw on pinpoint radar we'll be seeing those rain chances increase throughout the day as it goes on could be seeing some strong to severe by Sunday night. Temperatures will be hitting about into the mid 70s for your highs tomorrow. See about 77 degrees for Caldwell, 76 in Huntsville, 75 in Centerville, and 78 in Belleville tomorrow. And here's your seven day forecast. We're going to have a wet end to the weekend and start to next week. It's going to be strong and severe storms to tomorrow, to Monday and Tuesday. Breezy conditions, those temperatures into the mid 70s, but by the weekend, next weekend, we could be into the low 80s.